sure we're on the right plane, then we'll go ahead a couple. So now, as you can see, is that better? Yeah, it's a little better. See, now you're shallow again. Okay, now you're right back on the line. And can we clean up the bottom? Of course we can, but one thing at a time. Now, if you've got a tournament tomorrow, you could play from there, right? Yeah. Not too many thoughts. So for, the, for all the coaches out there, the viewers who are playing a tournament the next day, all we need is what? Get you having a ball pattern again, okay? Yeah. Do I want to change this? Yes. But right now, if you're coming in steep like that and we get you back on plane, we're good. Okay? Yep. A couple more. So we're just making quick adjustments so we can play tomorrow. Just with the backswing and all of a sudden he shells it out. Up top freeze. Good. Now keep that on long. Go. Open. Good. Now come on, let's look at this. I want to see how much you pulled down on that. So your arm's in a good position, isn't it? Yeah. So now it's too shallow, and look at that. A lot better, right? Yeah. That's super shallow. Good. So would it be good for like to tuck my shirt under my left? Well, I have a player who does that, Sun King. I have a lot of players who do that. Yeah. A lot of players will put uh, like he used to put like a head cover under when we started. So he'd go like this, yeah. get the head cover under, and get that up there. And there's some pressure there when you do that, by the way. Now if you don't turn more pressure <laughs> but remember when my right arm's internal to get to that i can't get to that it's going to get really really jammed here the only way to get to that arm is by doing what turning that shoulder back so there's there and that doesn't mean up here so over here and then so you've got that connection so now he puts t's under there and then when he plays tournaments you'll see him do this yeah. just like a freddie couples so he's got that under and then he gets it up in that position okay oh, yeah. he does that before every shot um, yeah, he does. So in, in his tournaments, the last three tournaments, he's been going like this. Gets in before, and then he goes. It's been working. Feet more right. Up, freeze, down. Okay, again. <laughs> Up, freeze, down. Okay, cool, come here. Now, let's check out your face view and see what's going on. See if that arm's on the shoulder. It's closer. Good, 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 good. Now, you have a little throw at the bottom. So now, set up. Now, actually, before I take this over there, let me do one no throw, okay? So meaning, let's just go to left arm parallel and have a no throw. You know what a no throw is? The arm stays bent forever, okay? The right arm, yep. So halfway back and freeze. And just turn, good, do that again. So you use your arms there. Don't use your arms. You just turn. Your arms are dead. Halfway back, freeze. Turn. Good. Come here. Nice job. That felt different, right? Yeah. So now there's no throw, is there? No. Now let's get that shaft not so steep there. That's perfect. See how you didn't throw that? Yeah. Okay. So that's more of what I want through the ball. Okay. So we'll take a little of that throw out. And now, duck your left foot out so we can turn. Thanks, bro. Same thing? Yep. Okay, now let me have a full one. One more. One freezer. You have time to go put them in the book real quick at this time? I have my book at the pro shop. Just ask my book and pencil them next week this time. Mine? Good. Nice thing. Come here. Same time is perfect. Okay. 
So when we look on this side, I want to keep the pelvis in the middle of your feet. And the reason I want to keep it in the middle of your feet, does it look like it's in the middle of your feet? Does it look like your belt buckle would be in the middle? No. No. So it looks like it's more back here. Yeah. Okay, so more people who start here want to slide, yeah. and the other ones who don't, who actually try and do my leg work, it's stuck on their back foot, okay. okay? So what I want to do is keep the pelvis under you and fairly level, okay? It's a lot of good players didn't have it level, but I want to keep it fairly level, and create a ball here. The only reason we're creating a ball is why? Because when we turn, our hips are not round. You got that? Yeah. So you're going to create a ball here. Now, from here, now we, as we sit, we have pressure as our left side of the pelvis is lower, more under us, okay? Yeah. What you're going to do is you're either going to sit back here or you're going to have to slide a little bit. So we're going to find out which one you do. Come here. What do you mean make a ball? I'm going to show you. So did you create a ball here on this back side? There's a ball on this side, right? Is that a ball? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's go over to a model here. I mean, all of them do it. You can look at Hogan, Sneed. Um, we'll go to Tiger since he's here. So you look at Tiger. Tiger's created a ball here. See that? Yeah. So that's what I want. Okay, so I want you to create a ball. Now, what are you going to have to do? So as you sat, you have too much pressure where? My back foot. Back foot. See that right there? Yeah. So we, and then you're stuck there. Mm -hmm. Set. So a lot of my guys, a lot of people online that I teach or a lot of guys that watch my stuff tend to get out here too much and then try and squat and they're all back here. Yeah. Okay. So if you look at old Sam Sneed, Sam Sneed would almost look like he's reverse pivoting. And then as he sat, he had pressure here. You got the difference? Yeah. So if you get over here, you're gonna have to move back here. The only one that I remember really doing a really good job was Tiger Woods. Then you look at like Adam Scott. They rocked off the ball, but they didn't slide to get back. They actually moved everything back to center, okay? That's hard to do, okay? So I'd rather see you find your tilt. If you have a wedge in here, about 10 degrees for a driver, somewhere in between with like an eight iron, about two degrees. You set under you and then you can sit and then you can move off, okay? So give me that. So the real goal is to move in this wall, okay? So when I was a kid, I was taught to bump into this wall, then turn, okay? Yeah. So when I watched Sam Snead, Sam Snead would almost move into this wall, create a ball here, sit, he was almost on the wall, but not all the way, and then he'd move into this wall. When I saw you over here, you were over here, and what'd you do? You just sat, and where's your swing direction going? Right across it. Okay, when you look at a baseball player, they're my favorite, because baseball players are up here, they step, they turn, and their left leg braces back this way, which means their swing direction is going where? Left. left. Yeah. And so when you look at a baseball player who's not too pulled downy, but a good one that actually does this, they look awesome in transition. Yeah. And then they go, two, and they hit cuts, okay? So all I got to do to a baseball player, because they've got the start of the downswing right, they just got to have a little push off here, okay? But if you're over here and you start pushing off, you're going to slide. Yeah. And then you're going to get stuck here from end out with no rotation, which means... No face control. GG Swing Tips here. Thanks for watching my YouTube clip. Make sure you hit me up on Instagram and Facebook. Check out my membership site and subscribe. Thanks, you guys. You're the best.